Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this session, I am going to discuss iteration planning. So, what iteration planning is, how to do, and who going to attend iteration planning. So, let's see. The purpose of this iteration planning is for the team to set commits for each every user story they are going to do in this particular iteration planning. So, here we can see our product backlog has set of features which are prioritized or ranked. Then these are going to move in our iteration. Then this commitment is based on the uh, length of iteration and team velocity like how many points a team supports to do in particular iteration. You can see we have a time box because iteration is of 2 weeks or 4 weeks and your velocity is basically 10 points or 14 points based on your past experience. So, let us see who is involved. We have three members primarily scrum master as a facilitator your product owner who is going to give you the detailed view of the product backlog and their acceptance criteria. So, he will discuss each and every user story or feature which is going to be covered in this particular iteration. Then the team member the complete agile team they define their task and set the effort estimates required to fulfill the commitments. Then that they can do these user stories in this particular iteration with these effort estimates. Prerequisites of planning. So, what are the prerequisites? What should be done before a planning is to be done? So, items in product backlog should be sized properly and have proper story point assigned to them. Then ranking should be given to portfolio item, it should be higher to lower, it should be done by product owner. Acceptance criteria should be clearly stated for each portfolio item. These are the prerequisites of planning. Then we have the planning process. Here determine how many user stories can fit in an iteration. This is the first step. You have four user stories that can fit an iteration or five or maybe more. Then you have to break these user stories into tasks which are actual uh, term or work to be done by the developers or testers and assign each task to their owners. Now each task is given estimates in hours either 8 hours, 10 hours. Each is, these estimates help team member to ascertain that certain task hours are required or each member has plenty of time to work in this particular iteration or they can fulfill their commitments. Then team member assign task considering their velocity so that they are not overburdened. So velocity calculation, velocity calculation says a agile team velocity calculate, calculate its velocity based on past iteration. How they calculate? Basically they check if a team took 12 points, 14 points, 10 points in last iteration then let us see they can take say 12 point in this particular iteration. So, velocity is an average number of units, it is a unit required to finish user story in an iteration. Plan velocity gives the team idea how much user stories they can pick in this particular iteration. So, that which can be completed easily. If a team member quickly finishes the user story then more user stories can be pulled in in the iteration otherwise if you feel that user story cannot be completed, it can be moved in the next iteration. So, what is task capacity? Task capacity says your number of ideal working hours in a day, you know okay, these are the ideal working hours say 8 hours in a day. Available days of person in iteration, you have 7 team members, then you have 7 days of person available in the iteration. Then percentage of time person is dedicated available to team. This depends how much time in a day a person is working in a team. That should be a dedicated time. So, let us calculate the uh, task capacity. For example, in a team of 5 people, we have 5 developers committed to team full time, they are giving full time, having 8 hours a day. So, your time is 8 hours a day per person, right, to work on task and no one is on leave during the iteration. So, we have a complete 10 day iteration, suppose, then task capacity will be 10 that is days into 8 which is 8 hours a day into 5 which means total 400 hours are available for the team to work on these user stories. So, planning steps. So, what are the steps that we need to take during iteration planning? Here product owner first describes the highest rank item of the product backlog which is to be prioritized which is as usual highestly uh, prioritized team describe the task required to complete the item. Team says these are the dependencies, 
these are the tasks, these are the technical feasibilities of the user story or feature which can be completed. Team members then own these tasks. Team members estimate a time to finish each and every task. Each and every task has their own owner. Then each owner gives a particular time, okay, I will finish this particular task in this particular time. Then once this particular feature is done, next feature is taken up. These steps are repeated for each and every item in the iteration. So every item regularly gets covered. So if any individual is overloaded with task, then his task is simply distributed among other team members. So that's how iteration planning is done.